All right, now, welcome to the podcast, uh, professionalpodcastnetwork.com, our first with a domain name. I'm Tim Broom. I'm Don Pazette. And this is, like Tim said, our, our, our first of hopefully many uh, yeah. online podcasts. We're going to give this a shot here, just kind of starting one to, to get things open and see where it goes. Yeah. Very, very uh, welcome. Let's talk about, uh, <laughs> let's talk about, uh, what were we talking about today? Uh, we were talking about a couple of things that prior to actually hitting the record button, and, and one of the ones that kind of piqued our interest was, was uh, uh, virtualization products for your desktop. Yep. Or, or laptop, as the case may be, but for your, your, your own personal computing experience, not, not on the server side. Uh, coming from me, I've been a uh, Windows guy, obviously, for uh, 10, 12 years. And uh, most recently, I purchased the new uh, MacBook Pro i7 processor, the Core i7. 50% increase in performance with the i-series. Uh, I felt like it was something that you had to wait for as opposed to a Core 2 Duo. And it was actually for my wife because she wanted to do pictures and stuff like that because I think that's what Mac people do. And uh, I installed VMware Fusion, and now she's running Outlook on a Windows OS 10 desktop. Uh, she's running a remote desktop connection so that she can connect to her desktop here at work. And uh, it's got a lot of great features, and it runs seamless for me. And I was just telling you about it, and you said that you're using a VMware product for your desktop. Yeah, absolutely. And I say I, I went the different route, and, and my wife has a Mac also, but, but I personally have a PC, and you do too. Yeah, so, yeah. so that's a, you know all fair. We're, we're kind of mixed mixed homes, right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I use Windows Seven on, on my laptop, and I use VMware Workstation. Not you know VMware Fusion is for the Macs, VMware Workstation uh, for the the PCs. And uh, and Linux, I, I suppose. But uh, but I use it on Windows to be able to run a couple of different things, right? I, I I have a Windows XP virtual machine, but I got a couple others. Like I've got a a Windows Server 2008 VM on there, so that I can run the new Project Server 2010 that is all integrated with the new SharePoint 2010. Nice. Uh, you know, great way to see it. The reason I use the VMware product, probably a different reason than you, is because it'll do 64-bit machines. Yep. So, uh, you know, virtual PC, virtual server 2005, they don't do 64-bit machines. Now, I'll be honest with you. We've used uh, Citrix here at New Horizons uh, for a couple years, and I've been a big fan of that. Yep. Just recently switched over to the Microsoft virtualization, the... Uh, Hyper V. Hyper V. Sorry. <laughs> you love that technology yeah. so much. And I, and I've always told people to stay away from VMware products because it's just so darn expensive. Yep. I mean, and I realize they're the product leader, but we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars when you implement a VMware solution. And so this is really my first experience with VMware, and I got to tell you, it was pretty good. Uh, you in, uh, once I installed uh, VMware Fusion, I just put in the name of the machine that I wanted, the user, the admin account, and I pointed it to an ISO. Installed. I mm -hmm. mean, it was easy and just ready there to log in. And once you logged in the first time, it was done. Are you I running a you running a demo or how much was your your license? Uh, I think it was like fifty nine dollars. Yep. Yep. It's it was a no brainer. Yeah. Now on the the PC side, it's not so friendly, right? On the PC side, VMware Workstation is still I think it's like three hundred dollars right now. Mm -hmm. So it's still pretty expensive on right. the on the PC side. But on the Mac side, they're you know trying to work on that convert, you know, get you over to the Mac OS and stuff. And so it, it's pretty inexpensive. The possibility is having uh, multiple virtual machines to be able to do different products. If I wanted a Windows 7 and if I wanted a Windows XP or if I wanted to be a pimply face kid with <laughs> Linux, you know, I could all operate all those, but it's the seamless uh, that, uh, I forget what they call it, I could run it like a virtual machine that looks like a remote desktop connection, mm -hmm. or I could run it to where the, run it where the icons are mixed. I can run Internet Explorer on top of OS X, and it's just a window. You, you yep. can't tell the difference. Now, now, both of us were sold on the Citrix Zen oh, desktop hypervisor. This is what right? I feel like that I'm getting. And the, the desktop hypervisor, and if you guys aren't familiar with that, Citrix announced a year ago now More so, I think. That, that they were going to be releasing their Citrix Zen server product, but basically designed for a, a workstation. And if you've run Citrix Zen Server, you know it's a, it's a great product. I, I definitely I enjoyed that product. And it's a it's a hypervisor yep. on a laptop. And the, the problem with running Zen Server on a laptop is that from the console, from the machine itself, you can't see any of the virtual machines. You can't actually work with them. You have to use a second machine. So it's it's not possible for a laptop. You just can't do it. And, and not without having two laptops, which kind of defeats the whole purpose, <laughs> right? So, so they announced they were going to do a desktop hypervisor, Citrix Zen desktop, and, and the Zen open source product has been working on that also and, and trying to get it out there. And I'll tell you, they said it was going to go into beta eight months ago, and it never did. Yeah. And here we are, you know, in 2010, the product was supposed to already be out, and we're like, where, where is that product? And, and that's what, what kind of drove both of us to looking to other solutions. Right. Now, is it true, uh, what you told me about Hyper-V, 
is that Hyper-V runs, but it also has a management client that can act as a virtual machine also. Isn't that the same type of technology that we talk about, the uh, yeah, it, client it, hypervisor for the you know, it, It's the same technology, except the difference is with Hyper-V, it's a part of Windows Server 2008, and if you do a Windows Server 2008 install with Hyper-V as a role, the 2008 install is run as a a virtualized, they call it a partition, it's the, the, the parent or primary partition. And then other VMs are run as partitions also, so they really run at equal access, right? And so that, that host OS is treated like a VM. And, uh, and that's nice, except they only do that in the server product. Mm. So I actually ran the server <laughs> OS on my laptop for a, for a brief while because, you know, that was what, what gave me that, that best solution. And it wasn't until I decided, ah, you know, I'll just I'll go with VMware Workstation and do it, uh, do it that way to get Windows 7 back on my laptop. And and uh, and so I, I do that now, but it's not the same, you know. And so the the ideal world would be that that true virtualized environment running on my hardware, which is what what the Zen Desktop hypervisor promised, right. and just hasn't delivered yet. Hopefully soon. Uh, eventually. And but you I know gotta what? tell you, this, this Fusion is a pretty good in between. Yeah, uh, Fusion and Parallels. You know, uh, Parallels does the same basic thing. But again, uh, on the Mac, so you gotta. You got to buy that logo. You know, yeah. you got to you got to pay for that Apple logo in order to be able to do that. So if you don't pay the the Apple tax, then uh, then that solution is not not really available to you. So. But uh, if you're considering or you're kind of going in between between a Mac and a PC, I would highly recommend honestly going with a MacBook Pro with an i5 or i7 processor and getting the uh, VMware Fusion and then putting uh, Windows 7 on top of it. Uh, for the enterprise, I could mm -hmm. join a domain, I can get my email, do my remote desktop. Use my Microsoft Office product, my real Outlook. Even the little uh, window pops up whenever you get an Outlook email or a reminder. Mm -hmm. It shows up in the OS X window. Highly recommend it, my opinion. I recommend you get a PC, <laughs> you pay half as much, <laughs> you don't get the Apple side, and the warranty isn't $350. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. You just you save so much money by going with the PC right now that although there's a lot of advantages with going with the Mac, I just can't see it, you know. Yeah. And so You're it right. was You're it right. was when my wife came to me and said, "Look, you know, it was it was before we had my, my son, you know." And so she said, "I I want to have something where I can I can put photos together and do a book and do videos and stuff and I think I need a Mac." And and she actually she asked me, it was kind of funny. She goes, "Am I allowed to get a Mac?" <laughs> <laughs> and, and I told her I said, "You know, I don't have a problem with Macs. I I so, don't want one." Something you taught me a long time ago. It's purpose driven. Absolutely. What, what is your purpose? Yeah, yeah. And, and in her case, yeah, honestly, if you want to put together a photo album, you can't do better than a Mac. That yeah, their the iPhoto, iPhoto suite, yeah. there is nothing on a PC. My my friend Franco emailed me and he said, "Hey, I, I got a PC. I want to do this iPhoto stuff. I, something simple." He said, "You know what? I don't want to make a book. I don't want to share them online. Here's what I want to do. I want to take my pictures." I want to do a fancy slideshow. I want one where I just hit the button and the, the, the pictures slide by and the fancy music plays. iPhoto does that out of the box, yeah. right? You know, it's, it's built into to, to the Mac OS X. You know, it comes with it. Right. And, uh, and on, a, on a PC, I had to do some Google searching <laughs> and stuff. And Media Center, uh, you know, Windows Media Center has some PowerPoint stuff. PowerPoint, maybe. But then it's just photo after photo. And right. you have to do all the transitions yeah. yourself. Yeah. And, and it looks really nice on Mac. So you, you can't go wrong there. So I agree with that. Mac so. is cool. Uh, it is cool. Yeah, it's like, you know, Nike tennis shoes or whatever. And, and so, yeah, you definitely get that. And that's why I call it the Apple tax, you know, that you're, no you're paying for that brand. And, uh, and you know, that's, that's fine for a lot of people. But but for me, I'm kind of a tightwad. I, I'm on a, I got a PC. Yeah. Just so, a PC. Yeah. But, uh, and, and, you know, we went through this with the laptops, too, when we bought the PCs. The that, search for that, a laptop. Uh, you know, Tim, you got a Sony Vio. Mm -hmm. And... Do you feel like announcing how much you've invested so far in your nope. laptop? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Sony Vio tax. I can tell you right now, tax, tag, and title. I, I went with a Lenovo, and I paid like eight hundred and twenty-nine dollars, <laughs> and and that's a third. <laughs> so, so you know, but but again, it, but it's aluminum with carbon graphite. I don't have that. Yeah, the special RAID. The special RAID Zero have RAID. on the SSD. Uh, yep, I don't have RAID. An I, i7 processor. I have an around. integrated Intel video card, which is nowhere near <laughs> yours. I've got the one gigabyte video card. It's because I need that yeah. to check email. Absolutely, and absolutely. The web. So you know, it's just, it goes down to you know, when you make a purchase, you need to look at at, at what you need. Appreciate and, you driving and, that bus. Yeah, it's important. Thank you. <laughs> The, the the reasonable side of the <laughs> argument there, but I'll tell you, you'll look a lot cooler with a, a Mac and and smoking if you smoke and <laughs> in the Starbucks with a smoker's jacket and get a beret. You gotta have a beret. So. <laughs> a mascot. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and one of those little mustaches. <laughs> All right, sounds good to me. I hope you enjoyed.